With the growing need to create more and more short form content these days for platforms like TikTok, Instagram Reels, and of course, YouTube Shorts, it's no wonder that I get asked lots of questions about how to create this type of content in DaVinci Resolve. So in today's video, I'm not only gonna show you how to do this in DaVinci Resolve, but I'm also gonna introduce you to another tool that I've been using that really has been helping me with this process. You're gonna to wanna to stick around to the end because this is really very cool. But let's jump in right at the beginning. Okay, so just before we do that, and for those of you that don't know me, my name is Alex and I'm a video champion. Having spent the last decade producing video for a number of different industries and all sorts of sizes of business, I now help those businesses to seize new opportunities and overcome challenges in the business by using video. I'm also a certified DaVinci Resolve trainer and offer online courses and workshops, as well as one-to-one -one and group training for individuals, schools, and production companies. There's links in the description below if you'd like to find out more about all that type of stuff. Also, I have a giveaway that's been running for a little while now, but you can still enter by making sure that you've liked this video, subscribed to the channel, and also have followed me on Instagram. Oh, and don't forget, you need to write giveaway in the comments below so that I can pick you as a winner. I'm planning on doing a live stream around the middle of April to coincide with my birthday celebration, and also to give away all those prizes. So I hope you'll join me for that. Right, that's it, let's get on with today's video. So on opening your project in DaVinci Resolve, the first thing you will need to do is to create a new timeline in the correct aspect ratio for vertical video, which is a nine by 16 format. To do this, first duplicate the video by right clicking on the timeline in the media pool and selecting duplicate. Rename the timeline appropriately to help you differentiate between your timelines. Next, double click on the timeline to load it into the program viewer, and then right click, go to timeline and timeline settings. DaVinci Resolve now allows you to have multiple timelines with different settings within the project, and you can see if your timeline has custom settings as this is indicated with a small cog next to the timeline icon in the media pool. With the timeline settings dialog open, check the box that says use vertical resolution to flip the aspect ratio from horizontal to vertical and then press OK you'll see the changes in the program viewer update immediately. Now you may find that some of the video needs to be reframed to fit properly within the new aspect ratio, but it makes little sense to do this at this time as we are only creating short clips for social media. So I prefer to select the sections of the timeline I'm going to use before spending time reframing things. To do this, head to the media pool and create a new timeline. I'm gonna call mine Shorts and enter some custom settings by unchecking the Use Project Settings box and ensuring the correct settings are being used here. I want a 4K timeline in a vertical resolution. With the new timeline now loaded, drag your original 9x16 timeline into the source viewer and you can begin watching through the content and choosing which sections you'd like to create as short clips, simply adding them to your new timeline as you go by dragging them or using any of the edit keys. Now what I like to do is use the audio transcription facility in DaVinci Resolve for this part of the process. To access this, right click on your original 9x16 timeline and scroll down to audio transcription and then click transcribe. This will create a transcription of the audio that we can now use to edit and add sections of our video to the new shorts timeline very quickly. Simply highlight the section you want to use as a short clip using the cursor, just like you would if you're editing a text document, and then either insert or append the clip to the timeline using the buttons in the bottom right. Now we have a timeline filled with our new social media clips. At this stage, we could just go ahead and begin exporting, but there's still a few steps in this process. Firstly, if you need to reframe any of your content, you can easily come into the timeline, decompose the clip to the original format, and then begin formatting the elements that you need to. You can use the transform controls to adjust where clips sit, or simply change the scaling options to fit more of the video into the new aspect ratio. Also, if you have the studio version of Resolve, then you can use the smart reframe tools to help you ensure the important parts of your content stay in focus. Having reframed, if necessary, we probably want to add some social media captions or subtitles to the video. This is another cool feature within DaVinci Resolve. Head up to the timeline, drop down menu from the top, scroll down and select subtitles from audio. This will begin working through your timeline and creating subtitles which will appear in a new subtitle track. From here, you can format the style and position of the subtitles to suit your needs very easily using the controls in the inspector. Jumping over to the deliver page, we can now easily export our clips ready for social media. Select the base preset you like, give the file a name and choose where you'll save it. Make sure your settings are correct and then come down to the subtitle settings at the bottom and ensure that you have these set to export and to burn the captions into the video. 
Lastly, we need to ensure that we aren't exporting the entire timeline as one long piece. So hover over your clips in the timeline, press the X key to create in and out points to match the video, and then press add to render queue. Simply repeat this process for all of the clips in your timeline, and then finally render out all of your new social media ready clips. Okay, so there you go. Totally possible in DaVinci Resolve to create these engaging short social media clips from your original edit. And it was really quite straightforward, right? However, I know many of you are probably saying, yikes, Alex, that was a lot of steps and it took quite a long time to do. I don't wanna to have to do this every single time. And do you know what? I hear you, which is why I'm delighted to introduce you to a tool that I've been using to help me with this process called Riverside. Riverside is an online recording and editing tool for videos and podcasts. It's a virtual studio that makes recording and editing videos in the highest quality possible, accessible to everybody. So even if you're not the most tech savvy, or perhaps you're put off by the steps I just walked you through, you'll find Riverside easy to use and a massive time saver. It's perfect for people creating remote video interviews, podcasts, tutorials, webinars, talking head presentations, and what we're here to talk about, social media clips. So how does Riverside work? Well, essentially, unlike other platforms that save content directly to the cloud, Riverside makes local recordings of all the participants, saving it to their device first. This helps maintain the quality of the recording regardless of the internet connection. Then, once you're done, it uploads the high quality version directly to your studio. It's pretty neat, right? The other standout features that I love are that it also makes separate high quality recordings of each participant and makes them all available in sync within your studio, which is especially useful if you're interviewing someone or have guests and collaborations within your videos, but want some flexibility when it comes to bringing them all together in post. The main recording section of Riverside is laid out very neatly in a smart interface that is modern and not too clustered with controls. It feels somewhat familiar with common controls for video recording and conferencing applications, which makes it very easy to get started. You can take full control over your settings, but also those of your guests and collaborators, depending on what subscription level you're on. What is lovely is that to invite people to be part of your recording, you simply send them the link and they can take part from anywhere without the need to download any software or subscribe to anything. There is also a downloadable app that you can use to access your studio when you're on the move. It also has some cool features such as a built-in teleprompter, media board, and screen sharing capability to really help you improve the quality of your video production. The media board in particular is very helpful for preloading audio and video content that you may want to bring into your production at a single push of a button. If you'd like me to show you this in more detail in another video, then be sure to let me know in the comments. Also, this is a great point to like the video by hitting the thumbs up button so that I know that you're taking away some value from this video. What I really want to show you though is how Riverside simplifies the process for me when creating social media clips of my longer video content, just like we did earlier in DaVinci Resolve. So let's dive in. With Riverside open, you'll see all your recordings here in the main screen, and you can even upload videos you've recorded and edited in other applications as well. Here, I've uploaded the video we were just working on in DaVinci Resolve for a direct comparison. Clicking on the video, I enter a view with more detail, and you can see that Riverside has automatically created a transcript of the video, which I can now download in either a text or SRT format. Also, there are some very powerful AI features within Riverside, in particular, generate AI show notes and magic clips. The show notes feature is so cool as it generates a summary, key takeaways, and time-coded chapters of my video, which can easily be copied and pasted elsewhere, like a YouTube video description, for example. Magic Clips is an amazing AI feature of Riverside that will automatically create short social media clips from the best parts of your video, formatted in a vertical resolution with captions automatically applied, saving you so much time in the process. The great thing is that these show up as draft edits that you can then further customize to taste. You can even re-edit them slightly if you feel that they've either included or not included parts of the clip that you need. Of course, if you'd like, you can always start from scratch by entering the edit page. In this view, you can see a full transcript on the left and you have full text to video editing capabilities here. So you can delete and isolate sections, remove pauses using AI and create new chapters and edits if necessary. There is a timeline at the bottom with a waveform that shows when people are speaking and trim handles so you can split the clip and trim as desired to create the video that you want to. There's also an option to add in other recordings and also bring in other media such as logo stings. On the right hand side of the screen you have some further customization options where you can add logos and backgrounds, hide and adjust speaker information, add text and captions as well as editing both of those to suit your branding. Then, once you're done, you can export your video, ready to download it before sending it off to your social channels. The nice thing is that your edits are stored as drafts until you're ready to export them, and that means that your progress is always saved and allows you lots of room to experiment with new edits. One of the cool things is that all your files appear at the bottom of the screen here, so you can easily access the high quality media if you have recorded in Riverside, and then prefer to take the raw media files back to an editing application like DaVinci Resolve. 
So there you go. I'm sure you'll agree that Riverside is an unbelievable tool that greatly speeds up a lot of these tasks when creating this short form content and social media clips. Have you used Riverside before? And if you have, let me know what you think in the comments and also let me know which of the features you think you'll get the most use out of. What's wonderful is that the people at Riverside have kindly provided a discount code so that you can get 15% off your subscription with them. Simply head to the link in the description below and use the discount code to pick 15. But that's it for now. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you did, please consider liking the video and then sharing it with a friend that might also find it useful. Also, while you're here, take the opportunity and subscribe to the channel. I post lots of free content here all about video production and in particular DaVinci Resolve and it really helps me to continue making these videos knowing that you're keen to see more and that I'm helping you in some way. You can always support the channel in other ways and as always there are links in the description if you're interested in doing that at all. Thank you very much indeed though. There are video suggestions going to be coming onto the screen any second now so why not watch another one while you're in the mood and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.